Like and subscribe now, or you're going to have bad luck this week. This world is full of such strange and wondrous creatures that sometimes you have to see them to believe they're real. While some animals are beautiful or awe-inspiring, others make you do a double take just because they're so plain weird. It can be tough to believe that these incredible products of nature really exist somewhere out there. From weird looking wasps to the turtle who's lazier than other turtles, here are the most unusual animals that exist. Number 10, Tarantula Hawk. This creature is neither related to birds nor tarantula spiders. Believe it or not, it's actually a wasp. However, you know you should be scared of an insect that is named after the tarantula spider. You must be wondering why it's named the tarantula hawk. Well, this wasp is known to hunt down the vicious tarantula spider. Yes, you heard that right. Tarantula hawks are the largest wasps on earth. Generally measuring around two inches long, these enormous wasps use tarantula spiders as a food source for their massive larva. A female tarantula hawk will lay eggs in the tarantula's abdomen while it's still alive, and her offspring will then eat the spider alive from the inside after hatching. Like I always say, nature can be ruthlessly scary. Tarantula hawks are also known for their massive stingers, which can reach lengths of over a quarter of an inch, and their stings are considered some of the most painful insect stings in the world. The pain resulting from a sting from the tarantula hawk is second only to the bullet ants. Number 9. Venice Venezuelan Poodle Moth. If you have seen the Pokemon series, you must remember the god tier Pokemon Reshiram, a huge dragon. You'd be surprised to know that this Pokemon is actually based on a small insect from Venezuela, known as the Venezuelan Poodle Moth. This creature is equal parts adorable and equal parts puzzling, making you question the line between reality and science fiction. It is a new species of moth that was discovered in 2009, and right after its discovery it was used as a character in Pokemon. Both the moth and the dragon have similar features, for example the spectacular wings, the wide fluffy fur they have on their body. This comparison is fitting because the moth itself is believed to be rectifying, much like Reshiram in Pokemon. Photos of this weird creature become an internet sensation when they were first posted. Number 8. The Hummingbird Hawk Moth Keeping up with the confusing naming convention scientists are so fond of, I present to you the Hummingbird Hawk Moth, a hummingbird-sized insect that looks like and behaves like a hummingbird, but is definitely a moth. Once you've seen a hummingbird hawk moth and its impressive proboscis darting about from flower to flower, it's easy to understand why many think they're actually a bird. Indeed, quite apart from the hovering like an exotic hummingbird, this confusing insect clearly looks as if it has tail feathers, whereas most moths have a tapered abdomen. The hawk moth's inch-long curved proboscis, which uncoils as they feed, allow it to suck up nectar from flowers that have a long corolla, such as honeysuckle, giving the moths a clear advantage over other nectar-guzzling insects. Furthermore, these whizzy hummingbird impressionists are clever as they remember to revisit high nectar-yielding plants. Number 7. The Mexican Mole Lizard The Mexican Mole Lizard is quite a strange animal. It's called a lizard, but it isn't. It looks like it's just about the size of a worm, but it isn't. What it does have are a pair of strong front legs, beady, underdeveloped eyes, pink skin, and in its native land of Baja, California, a bad reputation. The bad reputation stems from legends surrounding this animal. The story goes that it waits for people to go poopy time out in the woods. And when the person squats down, this ultimate opportunist enters the body through you know where, and well, then proceeds to rip your guts apart from the inside. This legend is so prevalent that, as the leading expert on this animal has proven countless times, asking locals about this animal will give you disapproving looks. But the truth is, the Mexican mole lizard is completely harmless. It usually prefers to spend its days underground, only coming out to forage at night. It's a very opportunistic eater and will eat just about anything that it could get its conical shaped teeth on. Not much is known about this animal. What we do know is that it doesn't deserve its bad reputation. Number 6. Panda Ant There are some really cute insects out there, and one genus of especially cute insects is the genus Euspinolia, called the panda ants. Panda ants are actually not ants at all, but instead are wasps, commonly called the velvet ants. The panda ant was first 
first described to scientists in 1938 and is found in dry coastal regions of Chile. Like many wasp species and unlike true ants, panda ants do not live in colonies and do not have queens, drones, and workers. Panda ants get their name from the female's dramatic black and white coloration. However, don't get too comfortable around panda ants because they get their other common name of cow killer ants. From the incredibly painful sting they can deliver from their unusually long maneuverable stinger. So while it's tempting to touch the panda ant, it's best to stay away from this creature. Number 5. Shoebill Dubbed the ugliest bird on the planet, the shoebill stork is an impressive dinosaur-like bird that is found in Uganda. Shoebills have quite an unusual appearance due to the giant beak in the middle of its face. This beak looks just like a shoe. That goofy looking bill clapped onto the front of a shoebill's face may look like a cruel joke of evolution, but it's actually a lethal tool. What's more shocking about these birds is that they are meat eaters. Using that massive beak, it hunts on quite unusual prey, including reptiles and baby crocodiles as well. That's right, the shoebill will happily go to town on a freaking crocodile if the thing happens to cross its path. Do you know what's even more terrifying? Fine? Shoe bills decapitate their prey before eating. After taking its prey's body into its beak, the shoe bill opens its bill just enough for its victim to poke its head out. Then the shoe bill clamps down again with a knife edge beak and removes its prey's head before swallowing the rest. Well, after this, we must say that these strange looking birds are the serial killers of the sky. Number 4 The Fossa. The elusive fossa is one of those animals that are indigenous to Madagascar, and like most animals living in Madagascar, it is a unique creature that kind of has an identity crisis. You see, the fossa's closest living relative is the mongoose, but aside from sharing a common lineage, the two animals have virtually nothing in common. You see, the fossa was initially mistaken for a species of cat. When you examine the fossa, you'll find out that it's really an easy mistake to make. Its shape is definitely cat-like, although its muzzle does resemble that of a dog. They also have the retractable claws of a cat and feline-like teeth. It is the largest carnivore and thus the top predator in Madagascar, where it is equally at home on the ground or high up in trees. There, it uses its long tail to balance as it climbs from branch to branch. It eats just about anything it could get its sharp claws in, from mice to even wild pigs, but it mostly hunts lemur, which is yet another creature native to Madagascar. Number 3. Eye Eye In theory, eye eyes should be pretty cute. They're nocturnal lemurs that live in the trees of Madagascar. However, there are certain creatures that tend to make them look downright creepy. For one, they have long, rodent-like teeth that never stop growing and a long, thin middle finger that they use to forage for bugs hiding in holes in trees. Their slender hands, unruly fur, and bulging eyes truly make them stand out. Eye eyes are dark brown or black and are distinguished by a bushy tail that is larger than their body. It is the world's largest nocturnal primate. Number 2. The Matamata -mata Turtle The Matamata -mata Turtle may not be the cutest thing you'll ever see, but I'm certain it'll be one of the most unique. I'm not just talking about how it looks. It's a freshwater turtle species found in the northern regions of South America. They're primarily found in the Amazon and Orinoco basins and found in other river systems. It looks more like a leaf than a turtle, which is an advantage given that the manta manta is lazier than the average turtle. Its rugged, pointy, bumpy neck triangular head and pointy snout allow it to blend in seamlessly with leaves lying on the bottom of the shallow ponds, which is its preferred place to hang out, but it also cannot swim, which is weird by turtle standards. So in order to feed, it lies motionless waiting for fish to swim near its mouth. When one is near enough, it opens its mouth, creating a vacuum that literally sucks the fish in. They are highly sought after in the pet trade, which is the main reason why wild Old populations have been slowly decreasing. Now they do well to keep as pets, but they rarely mate in captivity. Number 1. 
axolotls. Axolotls have become quite popular in recent years because of just how strange, weird, and cute they are, and you only have to see one example to understand that. As a species, they're one of a kind, also known as the Mexican walking fish. These amphibians are found in lakes near Mexico City. Axolotls are unusual among amphibians in that they reach adulthood without undergoing metamorphosis. They maintain their gills into adulthood instead of developing lungs and getting up on land. They look pretty spectacular to boot. I won't mind if these creatures take over the earth one day. Have you seen any of these creatures in real life? Let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.